Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. With great marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to create a beautiful online presence. Oh, good job. There's just like, there's absolutely nothing in our fridge. So I, I had to, I had no choice. I feel like having waffles made me realize how much I enjoy having waffles. Okay, so Rover can't really do high five, but Cosmo can. But we'll start with Rover. Paw. Good job. High five, baby. Yeah. Okay, not a total high five, but pretty, pretty close. One more time. High five, Cosmo. Give it up. Yeah. High five. Good boy. It's like the softest, the softest touch. Come on, high five. Good job, honey. You are Mr. Smart. These are also not, um, these also aren't trees. These are just their dry food kibbles. <laughs> One more time. High five. High five. Pia. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. But isn't that really time consuming for you? What's like a summer recipe I need a lot? Because I don't really want to eat soup or like her. Oh, plain that's gonna have these in the soup. So I worked on this painting yesterday, I don't know if you can see. And I like it for a couple reasons. I really like um, the wax pastel texture here and I just love how this area looks. The curtain and this background part and just the texture, like this specific section. But there's something about the composition, how I painted my cats and the four flowers here that's just a bit off to me that I'm not happy with. And another thing is I feel like I rushed this piece. This is something that's gonna be like a theme in this video, um, the thought of like rushing and going really fast. I wanna take a lot of areas in my life a lot slower, including my artwork. I think sometimes because I'm so focused on getting the final product, like I really rush through my paintings. So I'm gonna challenge myself to take it slow um, and to really enjoy the process. And that's my goal. So I got back from my New York trip about like two-ish weeks ago. And since returning, I have just been relishing the small, slow, mundane moments in life and just kind of being a homebody. Um, I feel like every time I travel, I just appreciate home so much, um, which is why I wanted to center this vlog around slow living and slice of life moments. Um, I love slice of life content. It's like my favorite kinds of YouTube vlogs to watch in like shows and movies when slice of life stuff comes up, I'm like, yes, 
yes, this is what I like. <laughs> I've just been really appreciating my routine, um, the everyday boring stuff like cleaning, cooking, hanging out with my cats. And yeah, I really love this video. It's a good reminder to me too, that it's totally fine to slow down, chill, and just enjoy the little things. Like life is stressful enough that I just wanna be as nice to myself as possible and enjoy the small things. Now painting this was quite a journey. Um, I tried so hard to achieve a certain kind of texture and found a lot of difficulty with it. So you can see I switch up the background like a bunch of times. Um, I think the brushes I use are a bit too fine. So later on in this video, I show you some bristle brushes I buy from Blick because I just wanna test out um, how I can achieve really fun textures with acrylic paints. But yeah, I have such a love-hate relationship with traditional art. But every time I pick it back up again, I, I'm reminded but of how fun painting is. After I told myself like, okay, I can take my time on this painting and just, you know, enjoy the process, the act of painting became a million times more enjoyable. I know, shocker. And I think because I gave myself that leeway to take my time, um, I was able to experiment with a bunch of different things. So I first had a black underpainting and I tried to dilute my paint a lot. Um, and so it was kind of watery and I was hoping that would create like a lot of fun brush strokes, but I didn't totally like that. So then I layered a lot more on top and you can see like I'm making the background even brighter. I think those little bits of experimentation are really important to my painting process. Like I'm sure if you painted before, a lot of painting is just problem solving. Allowing myself more time just really helped this whole thing come together. And I did a lot of planning on my iPad too. Um, and I eventually realized like, oh, if I made two windows, it would look really cute. And I think that would just make the composition position more interesting. So that was fun too. Um, I think I'm still going to take my iPad after this and sort of fix it up and make it into maybe a Patreon print. Come here. Good boy. Please don't do that to my new jeans. Think. New jeans, haha. Huh? That's it. Good boy. Oh, plop. I need this arm to paint over. You're making it kind of hard for me. I'm really excited to get into painting more. Um, I've also been letting myself go to the art store more frequently and just picking up a tube of paint here and there to sort of build my library of colors. Cause that's a huge reason why I don't paint as much. Cause I'm like, oh, well it's so hard to get the colors I like using. Cause I have like all the colors on my iPad, but like it's okay to invest in my business and my, my art practice and get more paints. Um, so that's been something I've been doing too. I'm loving all the textures and just how the colors look. Um, these leaves here came out so much better than I thought they could. We're gonna take a really quick break to thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Algorithms these days have been super, super terrible as I'm sure a lot of you may have experienced, especially on Instagram. So during these like tumultuous social media time, it's very beneficial to have a website of your own that can showcase your art all in one place. I have been using Squarespace as my primary portfolio site for years now, even before they reached out to sponsor me. I find they have the best um, user experience when it comes to building the website. Um, all the tools they have are really nice. There's automatic image scaling. Um, there's a bunch of really easy to use templates that can set up pages for you. Um, you don't have to code. They have social media integration so you can showcase your Instagram. So yeah, I would highly recommend it. Give it a try. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Megan Wang for 10% off your first purchase. Thank you, Squarespace. Let's get back to the video. <laughs> Sense. 
You. What did I It's pretty big. Yeah, it's basically just like a rug with a bunch of holes in it that cats like to like jump in and out of. They can scratch it. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's a small business, which is cool. Holds away for easy compact storing. You can collect loose fur from shedding and then they can scratch it. Interactive play. The little logo they stitched on it was really cute. I love little touches like that. There's like this part, which is, that goes on the ground. Oh my God, it's so cute. And then there are all these like little Velcro parts here that I think we can like make fun configurations with it. A lot of inspecting going on right now. <laughs> Good job, Cosmo. Good job, Easter. Oh, good job over using the scratching. though when we when I get toys and stuff um, Rover has like bursts of energy throughout the day um, and, but Cosmo is like always down to play more like he will take up more of the playtime um, but Rover will try to play with Cosmo a lot but Cosmo would rather play with toys than his brother having fun having fun oh yeah he's having fun That's crazy. That's crazy. Wow. On camera too. <laughs> Monday, I thought I would show you some things I grabbed at the art store the other day. Um, so I got this Titan Green Pale color. I've been really enjoying like kind of desaturated pastels. I don't know if that's the right term for it, but yeah. But enjoying that, I got a medium gray color because I've also been enjoying using like grays as well. And I got a white just because I was running out of white, but I don't know, look how pretty this palette looks. This is a palette, um, these are, I already had this light magenta, but like I feel like these colors together all look really nice. I also got like a Blick Essentials pack. Um, this is a bristle flat 12 brush assortment, ideal for acrylics, oils, tempera, stains, and other media. Today, I am going to be filing my quarterly taxes, and I'm also gonna be filing my sales tax, and I also have to file my quarterly taxes like for the state of California. I had to pay a lot of taxes for 2022, so I'm trying to like look through my expenses a lot more and like just do my best to not forget anything to make sure that like I'm 
deducting everything I can. But so far it's been going well. I think I'll pay a lot less this year just because I'm doing I'm doing a better job at like tracking those deductions. But anyways, I'm also filing quarterly for the first time. If you didn't know, if you make freelance income, you should be paying quarterly. I did not know this. I was like, oh yeah, it's just optional, but it's actually not optional. The first year I do think they might give you like, they might waive the penalty, but because it was my second year not paying quarterly, I had to pay a fee, but it also feels nice to pay quarterly. I don't have to pay like a lot of money up front. And if I get the number wrong, because I do think because of all of like the spreadsheet work I'm doing, I think my number will be a lot lower than it was last year. If I overpay, that money just goes to my taxes the following year. Next year for 2024, I'll pay a lot less because like, I'm like kind of overpaying this year. That's my little tax spiel for the day. Um, just stuff I've been learning. But yeah, I have to also file my California taxes quarterly too. So I need to like make an account and go in and like kind of calculate that. I finished packing pretty much. I actually miscalculated the amount of prints I should have ordered. Um, normally I overshoot by a lot. So this time I was like, okay, let me order less, but I was short around 40 prints. So I placed an order for an extra 50 and hopefully that'll be enough to like carry me through April. But now finally I'm done with like all this admin stuff, done with taxes, done with packing mail so I can finally do fun stuff. And then I'm gonna make some art. I've been having a lot of fun with drawing lately. So I think we're gonna have some fun sketchbook time. Um, the sun also came out, which is amazing because lately I've been having a little bit of trouble. Like whenever I feel like making art, it's really gloomy out. So obviously I wanna still make the art and I wanna film it too, but the footage is coming out like really bad because of how dark it is. So I'm hoping to take advantage of like the sunshine and the art making mood.
you made it to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Um, oh, thank you so much for watching and I will see you super soon in my next one. Bye. You're not gonna get any more treats, honey. We already gave you your treats. So I don't know why you're just sitting in here. Hmm? Hmm? What about?